Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm just going to take a second and I'm going to load our video and our comments. I'm just going to get all this set up here. I'll give everyone a minute to come in. There we go, that looks good. Sorry I'm running late guys. It took me a couple minutes to come in and get everything set up. Okay, so I am super excited. Our book looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. So again, that's the cover. This is the spine. And this is the back. It is so beautiful. And I did um, a combination of mixed media and the techniques that I showed using the faux, um, um, the paint and the and to do the faux rust with the paper, with the paper artsy paint and our um, textures that we created. And um, I did the copper over the um, Tim Holtz crackle stencil and I did some embossing with Seth after stamps here and here and then we just did the encaustic here with the um, the vintage beeswax from Seth after and then here I used the um, the patina hi Tammy hi Sherry hi Gloria thanks for joining so I'm super excited tonight, guys. We're going to do the last final touches on our journal. And I was wrong. It's not six signatures going in here, guys. It's five. So I've got five signatures all ready to go. So we just have to stitch them in. And I'm going to show you today a five whole pamphlet stitch on a um, exposed spine. So this is a stitch spine because we're going to see the stitching at the back. And I'll show you how to do that. And we're just going to finish up our cover. So beside me here, um, I have two products. I have the... Um, Tim Holtz Ideology Mini Fasteners. Now these ones are too small. So when I'm looking at my die cuts and the size of my holes, these are going to be too small. But these ones here, I'm, I believe, should be about right. And I got these ones here on Amazon. They were just a couple of dollars. I think they were five or six dollars for 200. And they were just called Mini Brads. So if you look up Antique Mini Brads, and even that's that's okay that's gonna work that's not gonna fall through but the other ones will fall through because they're too small so these ones are gonna be perfect we just need one and we're gonna set this all up so so far I have done um, I cut these all guys from a Rice Krispies square box and then I painted with my um, Sizzix Big Shot these are Tim Holtz dies and I showed them in the last video which dies that I used and I have used the effects paste after painting everything black I used the effects piece from Prima. So this is the rust effects piece and I use the red rust and then I've used brown rust on this one. So I'm thinking it's going to go something like this and then we're going to build our layers. So here's the other layers that we did guys. You want to quickly see and I put the biggest um, butterfly part through the embossing folder from Tim Holtz. It's the gearhead and then the other one is the patina that we did and it's that beautiful green and coppery patina. So once we get these together, it's going to be amazing with little propellers on top. And this one, I went into a little bit more detail, and I added a little bit of the um, patina um, embossing, the embossing glaze over it. So I did the um, embossing powder over it from Seth. So that's just going to make everything kind of pop. So I'm going to go ahead, and for this, because it is a... Um, it is a journal cover. I want to use a really sturdy glue. So I'm going to go ahead and use Ranger Glossy Accents for this. So I have my Ranger Glossy Accents. I just find it really stubborn when I go to... There we go. That should be better now. Much better. It always has that tiny little goop that gets stuck in the little nozzle. Um, you want something that's really durable to be able to stick your elements down to a journal cover so they're not going to come off. And I love the, the Ranger Glossy Accents because it's a resin glue. So this is great for things like anything that's plastic or even metal and it's not going to come up or thick die cuts like I'm using. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm going to center that. Put it exactly where I want it. And just hold it for a second. There we go. Just have a really good stick. Okay, and I did the same thing with this little lip on top. I used the glossy accents and I put it on top and I glued it down. So that's in here. This was the, the, the center piece and I decided not to use it because that would have just given it the um, metallic look and I decided that I wanted to see some of the journal cover through it. So I just decided we're not going to do that so we can do this um, for something else. What I am going to want to do is um, grab my small hole punch which is right here. And it is a five eighth of an inch. So this is really small. It's not big at all. And I might just come in and just kind of improvise. I'm pumping this all. No, that's not going to fit. I just need a regular piece of cardstock here. I should have one just kicking around. Yep. And it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's right here where I made my little notes from last time. And just, I want a little tiny little hole circle. Oops, drop that one on the floor. Let's cut another one. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we have our tiny little one here, and this doesn't matter. This is just what we're going to attach everything to. So essentially now we're going to build up our butterfly. So this one here is going to be the next one we put on, and I'm not going to punch um, a hole through this one. I'm just going to touch this one, and as you can see, it's going to sit three-dimensionally on here. So I'm just going to put the glossy accents like this across the wing where that's going to touch my circle. So essentially I'm just looking to put the glossy accents here. Yeah, it's clogging up on me again. Sorry guys. Just a tiny little piece. It's being stubborn. There we go. And then I can, yeah, put that here. So I'm going to want that across this way. Sorry, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I want it across there. Yeah, across here. Anywhere where that's going to touch, and then up here like that. So it'll be the same probably for this side. Yeah, like this, where I want it here on that side, and then up here like that. Right like that. Okay. And then I can come in and center it. And we're just going to hold that down for a second. There we go. Make sure we have a good stick. And then I can take a paper towel and clean paper towel. There we go. And I can just give that a dab and hold it in place. So anywhere where I have excess glue, it'll just come up. There we go. So now we're going to leave this to dry. Just like that. And that's our focal point for our book. And we're going to build the next part up. So to do that, we're going to take our butterfly here and I want to center everything. So this is where we're just going to kind of look and see what we have here. Like that. And we can decide where we want everything to sit. So that's awesome. I'm thinking something like this. Okay. And I'm going to give him a punch. So he has a hole. And yeah, I'm thinking right about here is the middle. So right about here. Make sure I'm really centered. Okay, and I'm just going to push down. And that's going right into my, to my mat there. And then I can just, yep, reinforce. Okay, so I'm super happy with that. And again, I've gone through the, um, the um, embossing powder. There we go. And that should line everything up. So now I want to take this same one and go right in the center and do the same thing where we're just punching a hole 
through like that. And this is where we're going to attach the brad through. So essentially, this is going to go on the bottom. Our next layer is going to be our butterfly. Yeah, this one, then our butterfly. And the next layer is going to be this one. And our top layer is going to be this one. So I'm going to take my tiny little brad. And I'm going to separate it just a little bit. Okay, just enough to, okay, it's going to go. I'm going to put it through the center here. And then I'm going to line this up and put it through our center here. Just like that. Like that. And then I'm going to put this one next. Like that. Then I can move these around and decide where I want them to go. So I like that. Right like this. And I just want to shift that next one around right like that so I'm happy with this and this one here is gonna yeah right like that so I'm happy with this just like that okay maybe I want to see the top of my butterfly right like that so I've, I have that like that then we're gonna take our next piece like this and it goes on the bottom right like that and we'll push it through Okay, and then we can get it through that one here. And then I want to put the whole thing down like this and push down on it. And I want to separate these. And I want to go one, one way, and one the other. So essentially it's going to look like that. I didn't end up using these little ones here. That's okay. I can put them aside for another project. I had a, like a little little cup thing over here there we go then I want to take a piece of washi tape um, to hold this right here okay a little piece of washi tape like this okay and then we're gonna put this down just like that across here okay and as you guys can see this is gonna move it's a little tight at first but that's okay it moves and you can kind of position this exactly where we want it. And I like it. Yeah, right like that. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here, back onto the book. And we're going to take this little guy. And we're going to position him right on top like that. I absolutely love that. So that's going to be our next layer. So then I'm just going to come up like this and I'm going to give the whole entire thing the glossy accents because it's going to sit flat to the other butterfly, to the other piece. So I'm just making sure I come in, okay, and I get that all like that, good to go. And I want to make sure I have a really good coat on there. And I want to make sure that's nice and even yep. and perfect. So I'm just going to hold that for a second so we have a really good stick before I move the book around. There we go. Okay. So I'm super excited. That's our final layer for our journal cover. And now we can get these signatures sewn in. So I'm going to go ahead and that's my little small pokey tool, the big one. I'll move over here. All right, and we are good to go. And that's a resin glue, so that's essentially going to really stick that down. So I'm really happy with that, guys. We have a beautiful three-dimensional um, cover, and we have all that ready to go. So now I'm going to put this one aside. And we are going to stitch in our signature. So I'm going to stay on the, the mat here because I can punch holes into it. So I don't have to worry about um, anything. But what actually I could do just to protect, yeah, to protect our journal cover. Let's just do that. There. So it's not on the glass and banging or anything. Okay. So now we have our, yeah, our five signatures. They're all ready to go. I've done the exact same thing I did with the last book. I have... Um, I'll just show you guys one quick, and then I can just quickly put it back. So I have my, in the center, I have 
um, a page that has been waxed. Um, each uh, signature will have um, a different one that's waxed. Then I have on here, um, each of them have one of my gel print transfers, like one of my gel prints. So I have one here, and then I have a coffee dyed page, and then I have five pages of the um, the kit page, kit pages from that um, from that digital kit. So that would be um, five. 10, 15, 20, tw so that's 25 kit pages it has, and then it has the extra um, three pages, each of them it does. So I just wanted to show that. So that's kind of where my mindset set was with that. But I went ahead and I have it all, um, all the books are trimmed down perfectly, everything lines up, everything's facing the right way, so that's, we don't have to cut or measure anything live, it's already done. So again, um, as I mentioned, I prefer to use an X-Acto knife and my ruler when I'm lining things up opposed to using um, a paper trimmer. It's just so much easier and then you don't have to fuss with it. And then um, um, that was the other thing, just make sure that everything is facing up and forward the way you want, set up your signatures um, however you like and what makes sense to you. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I think I did that wrong actually, because this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be signature two, and that's gonna be signature three, just to break these up. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, perfect. So that's our back, and then our front. Okay, just like that. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to put in our our holes. So what I've done is I have the We Are Memories Keepers platform here for um, sewing in your signatures. It's like a binding system. So what I've actually done, and this is actually so much easier, and I just wanted to share this, when you're doing a hidden spine, this is great for lining everything, up, your whole entire thing up on here with your, um, with your uh, journal cover, that's fine. Or your your hidden spine so for a stitch spine though it's hard to get your cover actually in here so what I've decided to do instead was take this off and I'm just going to line it all up here and punch down onto my um, self-healing cutting mat and put my my um, holes in this way so I just wanted to share this is the process that I'm gonna do using this but I mean it's gonna be so much easier because um, it'll be quicker because I'm not measuring anything this is gonna automatically um, punch up my holes for me like in terms of um, the positioning of where the holes go so I just have to kind of eyeball figure out where my center is and I can't recommend it enough I have the Tim Holtz ruler so I mean this is how I quickly can square everything up so it's wonderful so I have that kind of handy here for measurements, yeah, my, my book is actually eight inches, so half of eight is obviously four. So my center is about here. This is not on the, yeah, it's about there. Okay, so if my center holes are going to be here, and see, I'm going to be able to push it to one side and then push it to the other side like this, where I line the whole thing up, and then it's just going to overlap um, my holes. So it'll be essentially like that, where I have three signatures here, and then I'll have two signatures over here. So I just wanted to share that. It's going to be perfect. So the bottom holes are here, and then I want to just square them up. So that's going to be my, my positioning here. And what you could do too, um, I could take, um, just to make this quick and easy for you guys, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and you can mark your holes too, so you can see. And then you can always, um, I'm just trying to think of what I can use. I have black paint, I have gesso, let's see. Um, even a marker. I don't want to use a short because it's permanent, but even if I had a black marker here. Um, I should have a micron. I don't know what I'm 
Done with everything. I have a dry erase marker. That works. Okay. So, that's what we're going to do. And it'll be really easy for us to remember things. Okay. Then, and like in terms of our positioning. So, my starting holes are going to be here. Okay. And right here. So, that's kind of the starting hole. We're not actually going to put anything down here. That just is going to be where we're going to center and line everything up. If you guys can see that. And then what I want to do is go, because um, this is going to be a five hole pamphlet stitch. We need the four inch mark, which is going to be right here. So this is the direct center of the book. That's what it's showing me here. So that's going to be the direct center of the book. These holes right here. So we're just going to give these a little mark. There we go. That's the center. And then we need two more. So basically I want to find the direct point, two points between here and here. So I go, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, K it's six. So it's going to be three. Um, one, two, three. Um, Yeah, hang on here. Let's see over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, sorry guys, my middle holes are here. That's why it's looking a little wonky. This is where the center is. Not here. See? Dry erase. Thank goodness. Okay. There we go. That's the center holes here. Okay, so then, yeah, my number should be three. And then one, two, three. And one, two, three, where I'm not two, um, and I would even go even, yeah, let's go one in. So I'm going an inch in from the bottom because this is like the perfect spot. Okay, right here and right there. Um, I'm going to have to punch them though. Okay, hang on. We're going to, yeah, so this is the first one right here. Okay, it's really stubborn because it's going through, yeah, mixed media and a very thick spine. Okay, there's our first one. Okay, yeah, right here. And then, yeah, I'm going to go on that first line. So then hole number two is going to go right here. Right there. Hold on, guys. Sorry. It's being really stubborn. Yeah, that hole right here. Okay. And we don't want to move our cover. Just want to poke our hole. Okay. So we've got our two. Yeah. Right here. One. Make sure it all lines up. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm just going to do them all the way down. Because we have five. There we go. One, two, three. So if you guys can see what I just did. I just poked one, two, and three. So our first one is here. One, two, and three. So one, two, and three. Okay. And then we want to line this up right to the edge of the spine, which is right in here. Okay. And we want to line this up to our holes. Here we go. So that was our third three holes, and this will give us two more, giving us five. So that's three, and then we have four here. Yep, right here. Number four. And just nice and slow and easy, so everything stays lined up. And we um, just nice and easy, as it is a stubborn spine to get through. 
I've got many layers there. There we go. So that should be perfect for one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. And we look on this side. All right, now we're gonna measure where the next ones are gonna go. So we wanna line that all up, right up close to the spine, okay? And then our other one was, um, yeah, our other one was here. And our center is, sorry guys. It's just really stubborn. Okay. I always like to be triple sure because I don't like to, um, in a, in a hidden, sorry, in a stitch spine, it's not forgiving. So as soon as you get your holes down, that's kind of it. Okay. So I've yeah, gone here where I've moved that one in. So that's irrelevant now. So I need to go three holes in one, two, three. So this is where our last holes over here are going to be which is this one here, one, two, and three, okay? So from here to here, we find our center. So that's perfect, and then we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll be here, this is our center, okay, right here. And right here, that's our center. And then the, and this was our starting point here, okay? And our final point is here. Then we wanna come in and I need two more spots, so three, Yeah, so I'm thinking go three in, which is here, and then do it every other one, which is here. So it's just a little bit closer there, but that's okay to the center one, because that's one, two, three. That's five whole pamphlet stitch. No, we need one hole, not two. Sorry, guys. So it'll be the middle of here. Um, let me see. Just make sure that's lined up properly. I don't want any errors. Um, yeah, it's going to be right here. Okay, so that's exactly where our lines are there. So it'll be the same for over here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four up. One, two, three, four up. So right here. And that should be perfect, guys. That's our, yeah, for five holes. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to line everything up according to that. And away we go. So the next ones that we're going to punch, so we're just going to, now that we've we've got it on here, if you guys can see that, we have it marked off on here with a dry erase marker, and that's the best way to do it for each one, guys. I would do the same thing with um, a hidden spine. I would fold my um, my paper exactly, and then I'd know precisely where my holes are going to go. And I think this one might be off. Let me just reconfigure these holes for a second here. Yeah, see, when I'm doing that, I'm going to want to turn it around, opposed to doing it like that, because then my hole... And that's okay, you just want to make sure that... They're evenly spaced. My hole should have been here. Yeah, not, not in there over here. Just make sure that lines up. Yeah, so I'm gonna put another hole here. You won't see it anyways, but you just gotta be really mindful when you're doing that. There, that should be perfect now. Okay. better and we'll line the other ones up to that okay okay now we'll do the next ones which are all here so again we want this tight to our spine and we're gonna go we 
more. Okay. One, two, and three. Okay, so see, we're perfect, guys. One, two, and three. Okay, that was kind of wonky. Yeah, see, that didn't line up. That's okay. Always double check the back side, see? Now we're perfect there. So I just have to space that out so that's not going to be a hole. You guys can see that. I messed up this one, so that's okay. I've got one, two. That'll be perfect. Then this one, this one. So you just have to kind of improvise. And it's hard to see. My lighting in here isn't great either. So I don't mind because it's all going to be covered up by pamphlet stitches anyways. So, the, but it's just it's a matter of getting your holes in exactly the right spot. So let's try that again. Um... We want to line this up here. That's our center here. Okay, come on. And these ones line up here. One, two, one, three. Okay. See what happened? I ended up way over here and I poked in the wrong hole. So that's got to go here now. One, two, three. That's okay. There we go. Let's get our three across done and then we can worry about going three over. So that's perfect right there. Then after this one, we're going to line this up, and the next ones are in the center, okay, right here, um, okay, line those up, okay, this one, There we go. Okay. And we just need one more set of holes that are, um, yeah, this was the center here. Okay. And then the next ones were three up. One, two. Yeah, right here. Okay, so that's perfectly centered right here. Okay, so the next ones are um, here. Then it was, yeah, right about here. Okay. Wait, no. One, two, three. I need two more holes. Okay. So yeah, I go up three. That 
it's right right here okay that's up three here we go guys i'm just gonna get this to the edge there we go okay that looks better okay yep one Sorry, guys. Three. Okay. One, two, three. And then the final one is three up from that. So then we're looking at right here. I have to be just a little bit. So right there. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to flip it around this way now just to make that a little easier. Um, hang on. Wait. Yeah. Put it at the top. So let's do that again. And I'm going right into the, if you guys can see that, I'm going right into the crease of the book every time. So I'm making sure this is tight to my spine, like, like tight to the edge of the book cover. Sorry. That's what I meant to say, guys. Sorry. Okay, so we're here and then this next one. Just to, yeah, tight to the spine up here. Thank you. That goes here. That's our last hole right there. Yeah, right here on that one here. So then we're going to come up. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Yeah, right here. Okay, there we go. Straighten out. There we go. Okay. Let's just there, right there. Okay. Then we're gonna come up three. One. No, we're gonna come up two, sorry. Um, so essentially we're gonna come up right here. So it should be about the same spot on the other side. Yep, perfect. See where it comes up here where um mixed media spot is there. I did that on purpose so that would come right into the um the line of the the bottom line of the um the stitching. Okay, so There's my three holes on either side. And I broke my nail just one sec, guys. I don't want to get that caught on anything. Okay. There we go. Now, we have three holes. If you guys can see that. We have three holes here. 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 It might have even been easier because I was so busy to line it all up on the back. But that's okay. doesn't have to be perfect. It's all going to be stitched. They just have to be um, pretty much straight and even. Okay. So now we want to do the other side. So we've done our three towards the top now, and we have to do the three towards, or sorry, the, the two towards the bottom. Because that third one is where our spine lines up. So let's do it this way. So the ones that we've done are along the bottom, and we're going to line them up. Um, yeah. Okay. So, let me see here. That is where the center one was. Okay, so when we push it 
to the top where that other one would have um, been. If you guys can see that. My holes are here. Here. I think. And here. Okay, and there. And then we're going to go, okay, moving this over. So this is the hole that we've already punched. This is the next hole right there. And make sure it doesn't move. And that's our final hole there. So now I have five holes. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Then we're going to come to the next one. Just really hard to see. Okay, my holes are, let's see here. One, yeah, two, three. Okay. So then we're going to put the ruler in the hole of the first one. So it goes one, two, and then three. That's the hole. So then we just have to punch the next two. One. And two. Sorry, guys. It's really stubborn. Okay. Two are done. Now we just have the last three. Okay, so let's get these punched. Okay, we're going to push it towards the top, line it up, just like that. Okay, and then our top two holes. Sorry guys, I have a spider almost on me. He can't go there. Yeah. <laughs> Anywhere but here, buddy. Way over there. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, no thank you. Okay. So, yeah, the first one is here. Okay, hole number four and hole number five. Oh. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Then our last two sets. So we've got for here, one, two, and three. Where's that third one? I'm seeing two. Oh, there's the second one. Third one, sorry. Okay. We've got... here. Okay. And I need two more. One. Okay. And we're going to line that up one more time. This kind, this part is kind of a pain in the butt when you're, when you're doing this, but it's worth it, guys. You'll see. And I'm going through many layers of um, cardstock, book cover, and um, yeah, it doesn't always like to cooperate. My third hole's right here. There we go. And there we are, finally. Okay. All right, and then our final one is at this very top here. And I just want to make sure that my cover is still holding out okay. I'm not, like, banging it too bad. See, guys, I'm just poking my holes. So 
one's a little wonky right here. That's okay. These are pretty much lined up. I'm super happy with it. I have an extra hole down here, but that's fine. I'm just going to ignore this one because we're going one, two, three, four, five. So this is essentially what you want, something to line up in it to be five holes. So we're going one, two, three, four, five holes by five. And see, and I've taken off some of that embossing powder, and I can fix that when I'm done. That's no big deal. So, yeah, from banging the cover. So, and nothing's perfect, guys. It happens. So, I can better secure that anyway. So, that's the thing, too. If it's going to come off, I'd rather it be now and then know that it's going to be an issue so I can find a way to secure it even better than I had it before. Especially before these journals get a home. So, that's a good thing. Okay, right in here. So, whoops, before I actually poke that, I want to make sure this is really tight to here. So... Let me see here. Yeah. Right into the crease of there. For this one. And that's going right here. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. One. Okay. I'm going to pull that up. Right there. There we go. Three. Okay. We've got our three holes there. We just need three more. All right. Now we can go down. Okay. One and two. Sorry guys, it took me a hot minute just to get these holes in. I just wanted to show you how to do it. Okay. We're all done. Now, I can put these all aside. And we can line up our, our journal. So again, front, okay, center. I'm sure you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, signature one is going to go here, and then we're going to go all the way to the back. So one, two, three, four, five. So we want to line this up. So we want to know where to poke our holes. And I think I'm just going to line each of them up, do it, and then we're just going to kind of do it in assembly line. It's just easier that way. And I'll have to backtrack with steps, and it'll um, just go easier. Okay, so I have my pencil. So... We're going to line it up so I can see where my holes are. And you know what? Um, let's do this like this so I can actually see where my holes are. So there's no fussing. Because I didn't choose um, a very good um, washi tape, guys. I can hardly see my holes and what I'm doing. So just wanted to share that. So if you're going to use a fabric tape opposed to like just a plain muslin fabric for the inside... Um, just to let you guys know that uh, that's where I went wrong on that Tim Holtz one. I can hardly see what I'm doing. I'd almost be better off just to mark it with, like, the black holes or something. So, here we go. I've marked my signature holes there. And then I can open this. See, and I can see where that is. And then I can punch my holes accordingly. Okay, so just, yeah. One, 
to three, four, and five. There we go. And then I can take my eraser and erase the little black box. Oh, that's awful. I have a proper eraser somewhere in here. Or I did. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, it just feels really gummy. I don't know why. But that's not taking off anything. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. That just feels really weird. It's not... Yeah, I don't like that. Almost like the eraser went bad or something. I tried picking a piece of it off to see if that's better. Not so much. I just have those white erasers kicking around. Like, I'm just kind of... The heck? <laughs> My daughter comes in here often, so she's probably used it and just didn't put it back. Here we go. Let's try this one. That's better. Yeah, I'm not sure what's wrong with this one, but I don't like it. There, that's better. Okay. So our holes are poked for this one, and we're good to go. That's the first one. And we're gonna line up the second holes for the next one. So then I'm putting it to the second one, if you guys can see that. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. There, perfect. Okay, number two. Okay, and then number. Three. Okay. Like that, we're going to open it. Now I have this completely secured on all um, areas. So this is going to end up perfect um, by me pushing it the opposite way, opposed to pushing it on the other side of the book, because I've lined it all up. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, here we go. Three. Okay. Four. And five. There we go. Same thing. Just erase our little marks. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Three, four. Now, one, two, three, four, and five. One, second hole, third hole, fourth. And fifth. There we go. I can just rip away 
little pencil marks here and there. Perfect. Okay, and we just have one more, guys, and we can start stitching these. I am super happy with our progress tonight. That was definitely painful getting that in here, but that's okay. We did it. It's done. A little wonky, but we'll fix that as we go, and I'll show you how. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. We're just going to skip those holes and we can do next media order them and you won't even notice it right there. All right. This one. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. All right. Now the fun part, guys. We get to stitch these all into the book. Okay. So, as I mentioned before, it's going to be the same type of thing. I'm going to flip the whole thing over, and we are going to, here we go, right here. Our first one is always here, and then we go this way towards the back, because this is the front of the book here, and we're going to work from here down. So our first one goes over here. So we're going to do that. And this five-hole pamphlet stitch is the same kind of concept as the three. There's just two extra holes. So I'll show you what I mean. And um, I can't recommend that enough. So I like a three-hole pamphlet stitch if we're doing a small book. So a smaller one like this one that we did, guys. That's great for a three-hole pamphlet stitch. This one actually has a hidden spine. But that's more um, good for that or a one-signature journal. But when you get into, like, bigger books, so anything for me 8 inches and above, I would recommend doing the, the five-hole pamphlet stitch. It's just going to hold everything into position a little bit better, if that makes sense. So that shifted on us. That's okay. There we go. We're back in the center. Okay. So we have our cro crochet thread. We're going to go through the middle, down, like we always do just like this and we're going to go through the first hole in our spine so I have to keep checking because again guys I'm having a hard time seeing here where our holes are so that should be good for the first one here come on yeah right there so the first hole so we're gonna do the first signature the second the third the fourth and the fifth as we go back towards the back cover of the journal. So the first one goes here. We're going through the center. Okay. And we're gonna pull our tail. And we're just gonna shimmy the tail up here so the tail has some room and it can sit nicely. Right there, pull it tight. Good enough, okay? Then we're gonna come through the bottom. All right, and we're going to stitch it right along here. So we're going to come from the center. We're going to go up to the second hole. Not the first hole, the second hole. So the one closest to us. So there's two holes, the one closest to us. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right there. Okay. We're going to pull it tight. And I have um, a tail, so I'm going to pull my tail through, so I'm not affecting anything. I don't want to not. There we go. There's my tail. So I can adjust this a little bit more. I did this really long, so I'm going to, um, for my demo purposes, and I can thread my needle a little less. So that's why I've chosen to use a really long um, thread. But you don't have to do that. You can use, like, just standard what you're going to use for one signature at a time. Because you're just going to tie it off and then re-thread it. I just don't want to re-thread my needle five times because, um, just for the sake of the video. And you guys don't want to sit here for an hour watching me, um, re-thread a needle. Okay, now we're going to come up. So, again, we're going to go through this hole right here. So, we're through our... No, we're not. Okay, sorry guys, just grip this. Okay, there, we're through our 
notebook page. And we have to come through our journal cover. Great. Come on. There we go. Through here. Okay, and I'm going to flip this over and give it a pull. There we go. Just like that. So that's what the first one looks like. Okay, now we're back on the other side. And we're going from here, and we're going to come back through this one. Right here. Okay. From here. Yep, we're coming back through this little stitch right here. Okay. Yep, just like that. Okay, here we go. So essentially, we've done this from here to here and then we're going to go through back through the middle and instead of going up we're going to go down okay so this is going this way and we're going down okay okay and I'm gonna pull both and make sure everything's nice and tight Okay, we look good here, and we look good here. Perfect. Then I'm gonna go. Then I'm gonna go to the next hole, which is right here. Okay. Get it through that bottom spine first. There we go. Okay, and then I'll go through my signature. That's easier. There we go. Okay, and... Right here. Okay, that shifted on me a little bit. That's okay. We're gonna pull that through. Perfect. Okay, and then we're going down here. There we go. Like that. Back up through here. Through here. So it's just two extra steps. Pull it tight. And then we just come up here. So again, we're going to pull this all really tight. I got a loose one here. It's okay. It's just a matter of me. Mm hmm. Making sure the whole thing is tight. Okay, and then I got to pull this. There we go. That's what makes that tight on this side. And this one here. Pull that. There we go. I have one loose there. Come on. Never fails when we're alive. 
I think it's the other one. Okay, hold on. Let's pull that tight. It's from you. Yeah, there we go. Nope. See, and I just broke my thread. All right. See, guys, it happens. Again. Okay. I didn't have that tight enough. That's okay. So be more mindful. All right, one more time. Okay. All right. We're going down. Everything's lined up. Everything's good. All right, center hole up top right here. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. Oh, happens. Okay. And I'm trying to have my thread. There we go. Long enough so I can do a bunch of signatures and I can't even get it to go through one. <laughs> Never fails. That's okay. All right. So let's go up. Okay. So we're going to come up go through the whole entire thing. So then we're going up to this one here. All right. Let's try that again. So right here, we're going up. Okay, from here up. All right, let's make sure that it's all tight as we go. Yeah, we're good here. Okay, and then we're going here. At least now my holes are kind of reinforced on this side. So it shouldn't be too bad getting this ball back in. All right. Sorry guys, I'm trying to stay in frame too. Okay. Some journals give you a little bit of trouble. And this seems to be one of those journals. Okay. Make sure we're all nice and tight here. Pulling on both ends. And I gotta be mindful of that so we're not running into the same issue. Alright, now I'm going from the top. here. Okay. And then to here. There we go. And then we're going back through the middle. Be mindful that everything's nice and tight. Yeah, pull that. Pull this. Okay. It's that one here being stubborn. That's okay. Okay. Then, as long as these are tight, good. And then come up here. Down through the bottom here. Come on. Yeah, right here. Sorry, guys, I just need to be able to see. Okay, and I'm coming up through that one here. Okay, come on, very carefully. And then up through that one here. Yep. And up through here. Okay. Come on, I'm not running into that same problem. Yeah, I've got two strings here, that's why. Okay, let's pull these very carefully. There we go. Okay, 
Make sure the whole thing is nice and tight. Nope, I have a knot. Once we get this first signature, it won't be so bad. There we go. See, there's our first one, guys, finally. Now, um, what we want to do with this, yeah, the book is the right way. There we go. All right, this is on this side. So then we're going to come and put this on um, this side. So we're going to come this way and put it on that side. Okay, so we're on opposite sides of this, and then I'm tying these together. Okay, make sure that we are tight. Okay, one, two, and then I like to do a double knot. Put it through twice. There we go. Especially on a signature like that that was so stubborn. Okay. Now we can cut that one off start the next one. So, our first signature is all in here. I can pull off all these. And I want to just quickly, before we say it's done, just to make sure it looks good. I don't want any. Yeah, that's good. See? Our first one's in there. That's good. Okay. Now I want to take the whole entire thing and we'll clip it. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. All right. Second one. And we have all of our holes already done. So now we're just going to go right ahead and go through it. So, one out of five is done. Sorry, guys. That first one was so stubborn. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to go down through the center, make sure that we're the right side up. Yeah, which is this side. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to go through the center of our book, which is right here. That center hole right here. And the first one, which I believe is here. Yeah, second one right there. Perfect. So we're going to go down, just like that, okay? And then I'll be able to tie off my signature just by putting that up here. Okay, and then we're going to go up, 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 right here, through this hole, right here. Come on because it's wax. There we go. Okay. Up through here. Okay. Oh, we are caught on our butterfly. So you want to be very careful not to do that. There we go. We have our next one here. And then we're going to come up to here. To come through the signature. And it should be right through here. Yep. Just like that. And through the center here. Well, not the center, but the next hole. Here. Hole number two. There we go. Right through there. Okay, and then we're coming back down through our center. There we go, nice and tight. Pull everything, make sure it's good and tight. Now we're coming back through the center here. This is going a little quicker. Much better. Okay, through the center. And the center hole. There we go, and through here, okay, and then we're coming up through here, the next one, like that, okay, and we're coming down through here, I 
believe that one is here. Yep, there we go. Okay. And then we're coming up through here. Like that. Just like that. Be mindful not to come up through the thread just beside it so we can keep everything nice and tight. Okay, and we look at our spine. Our spine's good and tight. That looks good. And then we are coming up. So this is this way. We're going to come up this way. You guys can see that. So it's the opposite side. Yep, just like that. And we are going to tie this off. One. And two. Okay, just like that. And like this. There, two signatures are done. And I can pull off my. Yeah. And I love how this happened. Um, it was torn, so that's off centered. And it's um, one of those um, wax sheets for the center of the journal. So I really love how that turned out for this one. There, and everything's good. We're all in here the right way. Okay, and I'm just going to pop this off and I'm going to gather my two signatures. Just keeps it all together and out of my way. And I'll pop that over it. Just like that. Okay. And I'll pull these together. So let's see, my little dangles are all approximately the same length and there. I can put little charms on them later. Okay. So for the next one, I think, yeah, I'm going to need another string. That's okay. So I'm just going to yeah, leave that there. I'm going to rethread my needle. And I'm just using black crochet thread. So we've got two down. And we have three to go. And there we go. I've got another needle going. Okay, I'll clip this. Oh, right about here. Okay, now our next one is here. And we are going to go through the center. Right here. And we are going to line this up. And we want to make sure that we're coming through the center right here of this one. And that would be right here. Yep, perfect. So see, we're coming through the center of the next one. Make sure these all line up good. There we go. I'm going to tuck that up here. There we go. And we're going to go up one. Up here. Okay. And then we're going to yeah, go up one here. There we go. And we're going to come up on here. Right 
there we go up through here There we go. Okay. And then we're going to come back through this one here. better. Caught on a paper clip. Sorry, guys. that needs to be pulled. There we go. That's better. Okay. Perfect. Then, now we're back through the center. But we're not. I'm going to come back through the center. Okay, right here. Okay, that is excess that I can just toss it in. Okay, make sure this is good and tight. There we go. Back through the center here. Okay. through our center. Oops, sorry guys. There we go. Alright, and then I want to come back through here. I don't want to come, yeah, I don't want to come on top of that or through it. Let's do it again. Okay, there. Now I'm over here. And I'm going to come down through this one here. Okay. Okay, and then I'm coming back up through the center there. Sorry, no, I'm not. I'm going down to the bottom now. Sorry, guys. I'm going from here down to here. Okay, this way. a little bit because of the wax. All right, let me see here. Okay. There, right here. 
There we go. Okay. So we're going through this one here of the book, pulling it all tight. Okay, and then we're going back up through here. Here we go. That's right. Through. Come on. Yeah, through here. Okay, I'm making sure the whole thing is tight. Sorry, guys. That's better. Okay, and we look good. Okay. So now... Okay, we're going to go this way. Through the top. There we are. And we can tie these off. One, one, two. There we go. All right. There. Now we have three signatures in. There we go, guys. We're halfway done. And these books will be complete. And then um, Friday, we're going to move on to our pair, my Paris journal. So I want to get that one together before I take a summer break. So I'm super excited for that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go this way, guys, and just put a clip here for now. And there we go. So we've got signature four and signature five. All right. Here we go. And here is number four. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go right through the center like so. Okay, that's off a little bit, but I'm not worried. Okay, I want a little bit of a tail, but it doesn't have to be too crazy. That's good. Okay, tuck it up to the top. We'll pull it tight. There we go. And through the middle. So we've got two holes left. So I've got one and two. So I think this is our middle here. Let's see. That should be our middle. Yep. There we go. Oh, around here. Okay. And we are in and everything is straight. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go up. Up, up, up. One up here. That's okay. My um, strings look a little wonky, but it's going to work in the end. I'm just going to give it some character, I think. So I'm not too worried. And I'm going up. One more. Two here. Okay, that, and then here. Okay, and then this is going to go screw my way up there. That's right. Yep. All right, now we're at the top. Excellent. I can pull that tight. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, then. We're coming back to here, like that, and back through that second hole. And I'm just being mindful that I'm coming up beside these um, stitches, not through them. Okay, and I'll pull them tight. Okay, then I'm coming down to the center. So again, I want to be mindful that I'm not stitching through them, that I'm stitching beside them. Okay. Um, let's get through 
here first. There we go. So I'm going to be mindful to go beside it, not through it. Okay. Very carefully. going on here. There. I was just caught on there. There we go. Okay, nice and tight there. Now we're on the other side. Okay, and we're going to come down one now. So we went up through the center again, and then now we're coming back down to the next wall. Get right here. Okay, and down one more, right here to the final hole. And that should be good right here, yep. Okay, excellent. There we go, and then I'm coming up one. See at the back here, we're coming up finish that stitch right here yep and through our signature there we go right here okay like that make sure everything's nice and tight pull that yep these are all good to go see our stitches are there I don't mind that they're actually looking really neat kind of reminds me of like music notes it's kind of neat I don't mind it Coming around this way, around here, and then this one's on this side, so we're going to slip this one through this way. Opposite. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay, and we're going to tie this tight and tie it off. And we've got one more signature to go. Here we go, guys. One. And two. And I'll tie that off. There we go. And then our final one. And we can pull all of these off and I can put them over here. There we go. Everything looks good. Yes, yeah, in front of our journal. Okay, then um, I'll grab. So the first two are there, and then the second two are here. And I'll just use this one to grab this. There we go. Just to keep those out of our way. And then our final signature, so you guys can see, we've got one, two, three, and f three and four. But I told you we're a little bit wonky here. I had that one that wasn't quite straight, and um, I had trouble seeing on the inside. So just be... Mindful of that when you're um, stitching these and you're putting the holes in the, the spine to use something more neutral on the spine. And I'll make sure that I do that going forward because I had a really hard time seeing my holes on the, um, the Tim Holtz tape and it took forever for me to line it all up. Sorry guys. I'll be more mindful of that next time. And I love how this turned out. I don't know if I showed you guys this. Um, I think I did this live in Lou's group, um, in um, Junk Journals and Mindful Mixed Media Art, and we took a piece of parchment paper, and I decoupaged down, um, um, sewing patterns. So I didn't use a lot of them, I just used a couple of them, and I did them different ways. So that's how I got this really amazing translucent layer. And it is translucent. Like if I put something under here, you're going to, um, you're going to see that. So it's really cool how we did that. So that's one of the things. And I have that on my YouTube channel if you guys are interested in um, seeing that. And then um, that's just decoupage. And then the other ones I actually waxed. 
So that was um, a folded twirl from Gila Gostinelli. And um, yeah, the other ones are waxed. Like um, this one here. Anyways, I'll show you once we get the book together. I'll pull these off and show you a couple of the pages. But I really love how that turned out. It's just super fun. Okay, we're going to go through the middle. Okay. And we're going to go through the middle of the last hole here. Which I believe is there. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Our final signature, finally, guys. Okay, so I'm going to hook this around here. Come on. There we go. Right like that. Okay. Then we are going to go up. Going up one. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Wait for this to catch up. Okay. Yep. Up here. Okay. And then we're through this one here. Okay. And then we're going up the next hole. Which is through here. Okay, so we want to make sure this is all, we don't want that to be attached there in any way. Okay, nice and tight. So again, I constantly check, make sure that we have our nice, um, we're tightly in there. Okay, and we want to come up the next hole, which, yeah, I believe is here. Oh, right there. Up. That came undone, but that's okay. So be mindful of that. Okay, and then we're going. Um, so we're already through here. We just have to go through the spine, which is yeah, my last hole, which is right there. Perfect. So this is what I had meant, guys, where I went over and I put the wrong hole here. It's not going to matter because we're going to cover that now when we go through uh, this hole here. I'll show you guys. We're going to go through that. Okay. And when we pull it, it's going to hide that little hole there. So I'm not worried. So I just wanted to share that. So if you put, put an extra hole in and it's right where the other holes are, it's not going to be a big deal because it's going to hide it. All right, I gotta make sure that we're going through, back through this one here. Yeah, just like that. Okay, and everything's nice and tight. Okay, yeah, nice and tight. And we're going back through here to the center. Okay, through here. And beside that other one, we're not going through it. Perfect. And then we're going to stitch. So one, two, we're going to stitch down to here. And we're going to come up through here, just like that. And then we're going to come down to the last one, which is here. Okay. And I will also say that it is much easier, guys, to do this when you're not live. <laughs> and then up one to here. There we go. I'm caught. Okay. And up. And I'm super happy with that. There we go. And then we're going to go the opposite side of where that one's sitting. So we're coming over to this side. Everything's good. We're nice and tight in there. Excellent, guys. I'm super happy. And there we have it. Our book is together. And we did it. And 
we will do more in this journal series in, in the fall, but I will be doing a giveaway on my YouTube channel and the winner gets to choose which journal they would like. And that'll be in an upcoming video because I have a couple other things I want to order to go along with that giveaway. So as soon as I'm ready, I will let you guys know and I will do a flip through of all three journals and then the winner gets to decide which journal they want. And I'll do the giveaway once I have all items um, ordered. Okay, so I'm super happy we can just do a quick. Yeah, we're in there nice. There we go, guys. Yep, nothing's wonky, it's all in there. Yeah, everything's good. Super happy with that. So here we go, guys. Beautiful pages. Let's do a quick flip through. And yeah, our cover. I love that. So we have this part here that just, these are going to spin, guys. If you, so you can kind of reposition them the way you want. Or, yeah, just like that. I like that with the little butterfly head poking through. So that's perfect. Yeah, just like that. Okay, I'm super happy with that. I'm just going to do some more accenting with it up here, I think. Maybe even the bottom. Just to bring the runes back in. Um, that's just for me banging them against the, um, the, um, um, the paper clips. So I'm just going to redo that with the stamping and the heat embossing. So that's just something I have to redo. No big deal. And everything else looks great and it's together and it's, I'm super happy. So here we have our inside here. So I kind of did, um, this page sort of, um, just a neutral so it kind of matches so then we have our five sheets and then we have a coffee dyed paper and then one that I've done um, through the gel plates this is acrylic paint and other things and we have um, some encaustics that I've actually um, papers that I have um, um, I have a desk check here so you guys can see you can see right through it there we go that's waxed papers that I've actually waxed with a with an iron. And then this one here is going to have mixed media to go with the other one. And there's the other side of that one. And we've copied that paper. This is my grungy mixed media background kit three. Digital kit. So that's all in here. Love that with the cracks. So guys, I'll move over so you can see better. That's better. Sorry guys, I'm not even in frame here. Um, th these were meant to go with backgrounds kit um, kit two. So I just wanted to share that. I don't know that no backgrounds kit one because these are some similar elements. I've just done something totally different with it. But I brought in some of it in, and then I have this one here, which is all patina, and this one here with the damask. And then the other side of it is, I'll show you when we get there, it's the, um, um, Jessa with the book pages. Um, this one here is a little mannequin. That one there is the wood grain over top of the mixed media. I love these, my coffee dye paper, that's one of the pulls I did. That looks like Venetian wool, I just love that. It's like old wool. Something ancient. Love how that turned out. The copper and I used distress and it's all textured. You can feel it. And then one of my wax papers here. This is um like a parchment paper and I love how that turned out giving me like a ripped ripped edge there. So there's different things that we can do here. And we'll build it up as we go. Um I'm just gonna be taking a Again, the Venetian wall, that's one of my gel prints. Um, we're going to be taking a little break from this because I've got to finish up my Paris journal by the end of the month. That's my goal. And um, then we can just continue working in these throughout the summer and the fall. Journey, Imagine, Inspire. And then um, I'll do a flip through and, we'll get, and I'll give one away. Yeah, that's the other side there with the, um, with the book page that I was talking about. This one here. I just love how these turned out. It's super grungy. This is one of my backgrounds from the steampunk kit. 
I just did it on a larger scale, and these are from that Vintage Field Notes kit in my shop. But it's again bigger scale. Yeah, that one here too. And these are all from grungy mixed media backgrounds. So oh, there's one that I did with Mica Stain. And um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like Asian symbols. I love how it turned out. It's just super cool. Yeah, it looks like splatters, but it all looks like um, where the mic has hit it. It looks like it's, um, yeah, like Asian symbols. It's really neat. So it's in here. That's one of my self-actor stencils. One of my favorite ones. I believe it's called, um, not gridlock. What's the other one? Oh my goodness, I'll have to get back to you guys. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, gridlock is squares. So that one's more, um, that's gonna bug me now. And then I have it here. It's one of my favorites. And there's the other one with, it looks Asian. You guys can see where the, the splatters kind of go. It's neat how that turned out. Kit pages. Opposite sides. There we go. I love the back of that one. It's like looks like runes and trees, it's like almost like roots. That's what it reminds me of, like like a historical um, sheet. It's neat. And then I have here um, this, this patina background and some travel um, sort of sheets. And I love that with the map. Here it depends. And I have a coffee dyed page, and then I have this one here, which is a gel plate, plate uh, print you can pull. And you get this really cool um, effect when you water down your acrylic paints. So I just wanted to show that. So if you um, add a little water to them before you put them on the gel plate, it gives you like this amazing inked sort of effect, and they bead. So I just wanted to share that. So that's how I got a lot of this. Um, three-dimensional texture and then of course I have my copper in here too and that was um, a pull off from one of the stencils yeah super fun one of the wax sheets on the other side of that and then here we go this one so they're just beautiful in here and there's so many things we can do we can make pockets and we can add and do all kinds of stuff. And I love I have some shabby elements in here too. I just love those flowers. They remind me of like an old painting. Old oil painting. And here we have some more grungy pages. I have the flowers in here again. There we go. And coffee dyed paper and then this one here's neat because this one is like um well it's like almost like a final print it's like a ghost print kind of thing i love like how that turned out so it's got like um a great effect opposed to black and white it's super fun i wanted to put that in here we can do some collaging over it and do some really fun stuff and again that piece that i just loved which is here and then i have that one here with the other sides so it just kind of complements it and my coffee dye paper so the ones I ended up saying I was gonna scan they're actually in here so I needed five for each signature so that's okay because I can always make more so those are all here and we're pulling and gathering the pages I love how that page turned out the flowers at the top and then that one all right, so I'm super excited, guys, and um, that's it. We finally got this all together, so the series is finished. We have all three books together. We have this one here, which is like a patina journal. This one here, which is a nice weathered journal. I love that. With Tim, with uh, Seth Aptor's fabrics, the Tim Holtz uh, die cuts, and um, the uh, 
the different elements. So that's how I wanted to do it. Totally different. This one was using die cuts and, well, they're all using die cuts, but more mixed media. This one's like more of a fabric journal. This is like kind of like the, um, more in my comfort zone of how I would do a junk journal, I guess, with, with the fabrics and the textile sort of thing. Um, and this is the mixed media right outside the box thinking kind of thing. So it's just so much fun to try different things, use your products and try different techniques. And it's just a lot of fun. And again, I just have to put some more um, embossing up there and it's perfect and good to go. It's not going to come off. It is on there solid and I'm just super happy with how these have all turned out. And then this one here is the first one we did and that's our steampunk journal. And I just love that with the copper accents and the, and I did the rest all the way across. So the rest has that effect on all of them somewhere. So it's just so much fun how I've done this series and I love how it turned out. I'm going to be taking pictures and I'll post them in group and we'll be doing some different things and we can, um, um, we can, uh, um, start doing ephemera pieces but I want to get my Paris journal done first so I'm going to be going on to that because I have some amazing ideas and things that I want to do with um Lorna Taylor's um stamps and her stencils from uh creative expressions so I just wanted to share that that's what we're going to be doing next and I'm going to start that journal on Friday so we're going to kind of back one of these for now and then I'm going to do that one for the next two weeks and we'll get that one all finished up as well and um it's gonna be a lot of fun so if you want to um watch me live or you can subscribe to my youtube channel i'm fifi the paper crafter across social media so thank you guys so much again i've got a thousand followers on youtube now so i'm going to be able to explore doing um youtube lives i just want to get a better i need to um because i'm using my cell phone right now for recording i want to get a better camera and i want to get some audio equipment and some different things so i can actually do proper um, YouTube lives from my laptop. So I just wanted to share that and I'll be in better frame and no more of this, um, um, like up, upward camera motion where I'm not able to use, um, landscape mode because, because of my Samsung phone, I have that, that issue. So I just wanted to share that. So hopefully, um, in the fall, we can kind of get some of this worked out, like with my videos and stuff. So I just wanted to share that. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you back on Friday. Have a fabulous week, everyone. Thank you. Bye.